What are some of the common mistakes that you see from mooters that come before you? The first thing I think that I always pick up on is people's structure. And I, I know that for the purposes of this discussion, it's we, we have a structure and we're mm-hmm. trying to stick to, to main points. Um, but, you know, for the purposes of an informal chat, you know, the conversation will often go places where uh, the structure didn't allow for that to begin with. But whenever it comes to a formal exercise, you can do so much uh, and achieve so much with just having a good structure, road mapping from the very outset where you're going to go and making it easy for people to follow along. Because if you think about it and put yourself in the shoes of a barrister in court who's trying to engage a judge or a member of the jury, you know, people that are trying to take notes and keep up with things, um, if you're road mapping and talking them through things mm-hmm. in a pardon me, in a logical way, that's doing a lot of the work for you. And it's one of those things that people miss, uh, you know, so much. And I don't think there's any sort of main trick to this. You'll often find, I'm sure you've given this advice. I know everybody that I've worked with who coaches public speaking in some way (laughs) always sort of champions the rule of three, have three good points. Um, And I remember a debate coach in the States, you know, sort of going into the business psychology of that and saying, you know, from your young age, we're taught to think in terms of you have three, one, two, threes, ABCs, Goldilocks and the three bears, three little pigs, uh, you without putting too fine a point on it. Obviously, I work in the political space and you'll find that politicians, whenever they're making their points uh, or, or making presentations, there's often you know, three uh, things to go because they're easily digestible. Uh, it, it's not, uh, I, I don't think it's uh, not a coincidence that, you know, a lot of public policy can be distilled into three words or is distilled into three words whenever it comes to political campaigns because people remember mm-hmm. that. Uh, and so just some things to think about, that there is method in the madness of us insisting time and again, have three points. Yeah. Um, so that's the first thing I think that I would always pick up upon. I think the second is that people often lose sight of the fact that it's it's sometimes just a conversation. Where mooding is not necessarily always or or you know or dramaticacy or whatever else. It's not always a case of I'm going in with a complete script and I'm going to deliver sort of this presentation. And that's it. There is a dialogue to be had. So, you know, watch the judge react to their body language, react to their questions and don't feel like you need to stick rigidly to something if the process naturally evolves away from that. And then I think the third related point, and you'll see Mm -hmm. there three points, is that if you are asked a question or if you are interrupted, Don't feel like you need to launch straight into an answer to fill empty space. There is no harm in taking the time to reflect upon what you want to say and then articulating it because we we will know if you are simply trying to fill space. And believe me, it seems that the space that you think you're leaving before answering a question seems so much more to you than it does to us. 